The story I'm about to tell you is already a well-known story that came out in 2019 and is about the actor slash singer Jason Weaver who sang the role of Simba in Disney's 1994 movie The Lion King. As the story goes, Jason Weaver was offered the opportunity to sing as the main character Simba for $2 million up front but ended up declining the $2 million for a higher royalty percentage. The exact percentage of royalties he received has not been released, however he took $100 thousand dollars in upfront pay significantly less than that initial two million along with the higher royalty percentage when going into his reasoning why he declined the original offer he had his mom to thank for that decision although his mom was of course very impressed with the two million who wouldn't be she did some digging and found out that after the release of the movie Jason wouldn't see any more money from Disney that was extremely important to understand because at the time Disney was pumping out movies that people consider classic today and during that time Disney was re-releasing even older movies back in theaters. This put the thought in Jason's mother's head, how can my son get paid when they re-release The Lion King 20, 40 years from now? It's also important to note that Jason was a child during this so that's why his mom had authority to make these decisions and this pushed her to want long-term success for her son. Good thing she thought long-term because the movie was re-released in theaters later in 2002 and 2011. All these reasonings led to Jason's mother declining the original offer for Jason, opting for that higher royalty percentage as she knew that would be helpful for decades to come. Before we get into how much he has made because of this, let's talk about some numbers behind The Lion King. At the box office, the movie has grossed over $1.4 billion, including the two re-releases that happened after the original 1994 release. The soundtrack to the film sold 7 million copies by 1995 and now is available on all streams platforms. If you are slightly familiar with Disney, you probably know of The Lion King and how big it was. It was a great thing that Jason's mother was looking out for him because she was correct that taking the higher royalty percentage would be the right move for her son long term. Because of this deal, Jason Weaver discussed how he has made $1.9 in royalties since the movie's original release in 1994. That is slightly less than the original offer, but what makes this different is that he has made that one 1.9 million over the course of a few decades which keeps his pockets full. Also this is coming from a 2019 interview so by now he could have passed that 2 million mark because the work he did for The Lion King is still praised today. Not only has Jason Weaver consistently been paid by Disney for his work but this role also opened up many more opportunities for his career being featured in over 35 movies and TV shows. So Jason has been making money from his normal day job acting in in different positions but will forever have extra income coming in from his one role in 1994 that changed his life. I just think this is an amazing story because it shows a mom caring for her son, setting him up for long term success that is now proven to be the right move for him. Jason Weaver thanks his mom every day because if she didn't do what she did, According to him, that would have been the biggest mistake of his life. This was a story of the music royalty king and queen, Jason Weaver, and his mother, Marilyn Kitty Haywood. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.